Hi guys, welcome to fourth grade, chapter two, lesson 12. We are going to go ahead and get started with number two. But before we do, I want you guys to write down PEMDA, okay? Remember what it is because we're going to have to use it for our next lesson here, okay? So pause it, write down whatever it is you need to do. You'll see that I wrote it at the top of my paper so that I always remember what my steps are, okay? So we're going to start with number two. They did number one for you, of course. Okay. So you'll see that you have seven times 38 and you have three times 45. Well, we don't have any parentheses and we don't have any exponents. Okay. I don't have to worry about those. But multiplication and division, well, there's two multiplications. Okay. So I rewrote it here and I wrote those in parentheses so that I would remember I have to do those first. Okay. What I did here is I rewrote the rest of it. So my plus sign and my minus 56 and equals N, those didn't go anywhere just because I'm going to solve these two. So now I'm gonna go ahead and solve those two and then I'll go ahead and fill them in, okay? So seven times eight, 56, carry my five, seven times three is 21 plus five, 26, okay? So I'm gonna write in my 266 right there, okay? Now, three times five is 15, carrying my one. Three times four is 12, plus one, 13. So, 135, okay? So now I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna do 236 plus, because there's still a plus sign there, 135, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and add those up, okay? Now, I'm going to write here, rewrite my minus 56 equals n because that's not going to disappear just because i'm solving this okay so six plus five eleven carry my one one plus six is seven plus three is ten carry my one one plus two is three plus one more is four so 401 okay so now i have 401 minus 56. Okay. Now, one cannot take away six. Cannot borrow from zero. Make that a three, that a 10. Now I have to borrow one from that one, which makes this one 11, okay? 11 minus six is five, nine minus five is four, and then I can bring my three down. So now I have 345 equals N, 345. Okay, now there's some extra steps in there you guys have to do. There's a bunch of steps. You guys just have to see it through, okay? Rewrite everything that you're not using that time and bring it down with you so that you don't forget about it. It's important. Okay, so our next problem. Okay, says. Six times 21 plus seven times 29 minus 83 equals N, okay? So now first I need to take care of these, okay? So I'm gonna rewrite my plus sign and my minus 83 equals N, okay? Okay, then I'm gonna do 21 times six and 29 times seven, okay? So six times one, six, six times two, 12. Okay, so 126 there. Seven times nine, 63, carry my six. Six times two is 14 plus six, 20. So 203, okay? Now I have 203 and 26 and I have to add those together. Okay, so now I'm going to take care of this part and still have minus 83 equals n. Okay, okay, so 3 plus 6, 9, 0 plus 2, 2, 2 plus 1, 3. So 329. Okay. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do 329 minus 83. Okay. 9 minus 3 is 6. 
2 cannot take away 8. I need to borrow 1, making it 12. 12 minus 8 is 4, and then I can bring my 2 down. So 246 equals 10. So 2, 4, 6. Done. Okay? You just got to go step by step, okay? This one. Okay? This one. You guys are going to do four, five, and six on your own, okay? You totally can. I believe in you, okay? We're going to go down to number seven, and it says a bakery has four trays with 16 muffins on each tray. The bakery has three trays of cupcakes with 24 on each tray. If 15 cupcakes are sold, how many muffins and cupcakes are left? So we have four trays of 16 muffins, right? And, I mean, plus the bakery has three trays. 24 cupcakes, and then they sold 15, okay? So, I got to do those first. I got to do my multiplication first, okay? So, 16 times 4 and 24 times 3, okay? 16 times 4, well, 4 times 6, 24, carry my 2. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2, 6, so now we have 64, plus 3 times 4 is 12, carry my 1, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 more is 7, plus 72, minus 15. So now all I have is addition and subtraction, so I can go ahead and keep tracking, okay? So, 64 plus 72, 64, 72, add them up, 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 7 is 13, 136. I still have minus 15. That didn't go anywhere, okay? So over here, 136 minus 15. Got lucky, don't have to borrow. 6 minus 5 is 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. And I can bring down my 1. So 121. So 121 muffins and cupcakes. Okay, pause it, write down your work, do whatever it is that you need to do to make that happen. Okay, show your work. Okay, so number eight, you guys do, you totally can. Okay, lesson check on the back, number one and two, you guys do those, you totally can. Okay, we are going to go to number three on spiral review. And it says to write an expression that shows how you can multiply 9 times 475 using expanded form and distributive property. Okay, so 9, okay. There we go. Now we're going to do expanded form. Well, that's worth 400. That's worth 70, and that's worth 5. Okay? That is your expression. Boom. Done. Okay? All right. Number four says write an equation that represents this comparison sentence. 32 is 8 times as many as 4. That's it, guys. You're done. Okay. All right. Number five says between which pair of numbers is the exact product of 379 and 8? Well, product is multiplication, guys. Okay. So 8 times 9 is 72. Carry our 7. 8 times 7 is 56. Plus 7 more is 63, carry your 6. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 6 more is 30. So, between which pair of numbers? Well, I would say between 3,000 and 4,000. Right? 3,032 is between 3,000 and 4,000. There you go. Okay? Now, you could say it's between 3,000 and 
3,100. That would be true as well. Okay. Anything that it's between. Okay. All right. 